everybody welcome back to another video today it's going to be another kit bash showcase style video taking a look at my version of a Crute Sil-esque demon of Slanesh for my all Crute demons army now what's that I hear you ask average Joe where the fuck have you been it's been like two three weeks since an upload well my friend let me tell you a tale you see it all began when I needed a fucking vacation. So the family and I headed off to our cottage on the lake and we had a great time. After catching about every fish I could, a pretty cool snake here and there, and drinking more than my fair share, I can say that I am well and truly rested and recuperated and ready to get back to making more videos for you guys. So with that out of the way, let's jump into the video and uh, get talking about it. Now before we get started properly, you know we gotta have a quick word for our sponsor, lordofskulls.net. You know the drill, discount code down below. Go check them out for all your awesome World Eaters parts, whether it's a new helmet for Angron, new helmets for your Berserkers, or for Legionaries you want to turn into Berserkers, because GW went and squashed that option in our new codex. Whatever you need, he's got it covered for you guys, including a very spicy new Terminator upgrade uh, kit. Uh, which I will be showing off on the channel at some point once I get my hands on another set of Chaos Terminators. So, go check them out. Helps me, helps him, and uh, helps you guys, quite frankly. So, let's get into the Kit Bash Showcase. For those that are new or haven't seen one of these before, as always, it's just going to be kind of a deep dive into this model, how it was made, what parts are used. As I'm talking, I'll have work in progress pictures and stuff popping up in the background. If that kind of stuff interests you, seeing the stuff behind the scenes, how stuff is made, and you know stuff coming down the pipe, feel free to check out my Patreon. It is linked down below, and it is only a dollar, and that's where I post all my work in progress stuff. So anyways, those images will be popping up in the background now. Uh, real quick, before we get started, I'll do a quick little size comparison. I've got a couple other of my Crute Demons here just to show you how he scales next to some of the other Slanesh stuff. So here is a Crute Demonette. So that's your standard, you know, Slanesh Demon Infantry. We got the uh, Demonette. Now for a little bit bigger, we have a Fiend of Slanesh. You know, Fiends are a pretty mid-sized demon, you know, smaller than a greater demon, but a lot bigger than a Crute Infantry. So um, that's, uh, that's where we're at for that. As always, guys, uh, base sizes is very important to me. Uh, when I do my kit bashes, I want them to be as close to the proper sizes as I can do, obviously within reason, because a lot of my stuff gets pretty wild. Uh, but these are all the correct bases for those uh, size of models. So this is a proper uh, Demon Prince size base. I think it's I think that's a 60 mil off the top of my head, but I could be wrong. I honestly forget. But whatever the right size is, that's the size uh, this dude is. So. Starting off, this is, the base model is the, uh, it's a Cruel Boy <sighs> Trogoth, I think, I forget what it's called, go uh, to Games Workshop, go to the Cruel Boys, they've got like 20 different kits, not that many, and you'll see it, it's the big uh, ogre looking guy with uh, a dude riding on his back. Um, but so that was the base kit. Now I remember when that first came out, I looked at that and I thought that could be some sort of a big crute if I put my mind to it. And the, uh, the crute demons were quite frankly the perfect, uh, vessel for that to go with. So that is the main bottle or main mob bottle. See, I still got bottles on the mind for my vacation. Um, but, uh, so that is the base, uh, for the, uh, the big guy and the rider both. Now the kit originally uh, is holding two clubs. I did keep the one. I just thought it was cool. I thought it was uh, appropriate. But if we spin them around here, this is uh, probably my favorite detail of it all. As always, guys, every time I do some crute, there's got to be a horrifically massacred tau in there. If I can get a little bit better view for you. There we go. We got a really really messed up uh fire warrior there you know he's got his armor cracked and ripped off of him his his shoulder and arm is just mushed he's got guts hanging out and so that is of course just a standard fire warrior all i had to do was uh, clip away the club that was in that hand um attach the fire warriors uh you know hand on the one end and the the body on the other and so what i did was so i basically took a fire warrior 
chopped them all up, uh, green stuffed in uh, the parts that I wanted uh, exposed. Uh, doing green stuff guts is super easy. You know, you just make a little worm, kind of roll it up and stick it in there. And then uh, for the blood drips, which actually uh, they've they've like shifted a little bit. They aren't as as nice looking as uh, they were before. I saw this fun little technique somewhere. I forget. It might have been even like a TikTok or something. Um, but you basically, I I plucked out one of my own beard hairs, and um, and basically glued that on there, and then uh, just mixed some uh, just some normal like super glue with uh blood for the blood god paint just with like a toothpick and then you just kind of like drip that on there and it makes the nice little like drippy effect so that's all that is but uh that's pretty simple stuff just a you know just a fire warrior in place of the club that's easy enough to do uh so now spinning him around so his armor here on the front um that is mostly from the lizard man lizardman kit for the uh the carnosaur the Trogoth, of course, I use the Carnosaur for a different uh, Crute Demon. Feel free to check that video out on the channel. It's the only other one for the uh, Crute Demons right now, I believe. Um, but so, yeah, that's just some extra, like, armor and decorations that came from, like, the saddle and the throne and stuff. Um, and so that's basically this is one piece here. And so what I did is I made, like, a green stuff rope, uh, went all the way around, then attached that to that. And then he already had all these straps and stuff going across the front because as uh, for the Cruel Boys, they have these big silly like face shields they like to use. And so he had like one across his belly. So I just got rid of that entirely. Basically filled in that whole space with uh, green stuff because I think you are left with a, a space in his belly. And then I was pretty much able to just cover it up with these cool armor pieces. So I think so this is one piece and then the horns are separate. And then I think the uh, the skulls and stuff are separate as well. But so that's... That's all pretty easy to do, just all glued on there. Now his head uh, was quite the quite the project. Get a little better look there. Yeah, so the head of this big guy, so that is uh, from about here up is is where the the customization starts. So basically, this little hair tuft is actually from the kit. Uh, he has a little. Uh, you know, mohawk kind of spiky hair thing. So I thought that was fine for the little crute quills. Um, so that is that. This head is actually one of the shark heads from the Idaneth Deepkin, um, like shark cavalry. I forget what they're called, but uh, you know, obviously it's the only shark cavalry in their range. So just uh, go look at that. So you get, uh, it's one of those heads that a buddy gave me basically a whole bunch of green stuff going on here all those like i don't know if you call them like scales but like the scales and wrinkles and whatever all the way down past there is sculpted um the shark face kind of ends at the end of that armor and then the whole beak and everything's sculpted around it i gave him this really crazy like gonzo nose beak and stuff because this is very you know corrupted crew right these are slanesh crew they're not uh not normal at all sorry a shaky hand there i don't know what's going on uh hopefully it's clear um so yeah so that's pretty much it for that the tongue i think the tongue was actually left over from the uh the carnosaur kit as well if you build it as the troglodon the troglodon for the lizard men it has this big long tongue and uh so yeah i think that's where that's from so spin them up here a little bit. The feet here are actually demonette feet uh, from uh, some of the, uh, they're not fiends, Seekers. The Seeker Cavalry. So I have a bunch of those that I've made for my uh, Slanesh crew. And uh, so I have some extra of their legs lying around. So that's the feet for him. Just clipped off the Cruel Boy feet and attached that. Uh, I think this little thing here that's like nailed into his head actually, I had to just improvise that. So the, the chain goes to there. And then this is just like a little extra piece of sprue or whatever um, that I was able to look like because you know they're not gonna they're not gonna treat their mounts particularly nicely so they literally just nailed it into the side of his head and away we go. Now for the rider, so it's all the base rider uh, kit. He had a couple different head options, and uh, so basically what I did is so that is a. Uh, that's a 3D printed, uh, set of crew quills, um, that I just green stuffed on the back of his head. I think I had to like cut away a little bit of the top of his head. And then I green stuffed, uh, the forehead a little bit to bring it out, um, uh, make it that kind of pronounced crew, 
uh, brow that they have. And then uh, the really cool, like, bone skull mask um, I thought was just really cool. That was That's part of the normal model. That's one of the head options. And uh, it's big enough that I think, like, you can imagine there's, you know, a normal croup face with the beak underneath that. And the, you know, the skull is just over top. And uh, I think that looks quite cool. The spear is from a uh that is from the carnosaur kit as well i believe there's a couple different spears and things uh sorry that's like the end of it the the normal kit for this model uh comes with a really long spear thing and then i just made it a little bit more intimidating with the the end that i used there um of course all over the model there's extra little like feathers and decorations and things um yeah and i think I did use two proper crew hands for this guy. Uh, no, I think I, you know, I just green stuffed them. Yeah. So for those that don't know, like there's such a tiny detail and right when you're looking at models, usually you're more like at about this distance. So honestly, the crew hands on every single model is one of the things that I'm willing to bend on a lot of the times, but there's a super easy way you can do it. If it's like, you know, a fancier model like this where you want to, you know, put a little bit more extra effort in and make the hands a little bit more proper for Kroot. And basically all you have to do is, so when the when Kroot hold things, so they've got, if this is my hand, they have only two fingers and then they have two thumbs. So imagine this thumb, but down here on the bottom as well. And then imagine, you know, just two fingers like that. And so that's how they're holding things. So it's usually... It's going to be, you know, two, and then, like, this is one finger, this is one finger, and then two thumbs. So, I, it helps me a lot to actually take my hand and visualize it. But, so, if you've got a guy that's already holding something like this, really all you have to do is you can kind of scrape off that thumb, green stuff a little bit over top of the two, like, the, the four fingers, and basically make them into just two and then you just have to green stuff two little thumbs over it. It it sounds harder than it is. It's it's small, and it's actually so small that even if it's you just kind of kind of get it to where it looks like passable when it's far away, you can't tell anyway. There's you, there's not it, the only person it's affecting is you. So basically, unless you're like anal like me, uh, you don't have to worry about it. But uh, anyways. That about uh, sums up this video, guys. This is my Kroot Sil-esque. Um, I've said it before in other videos, but basically the idea with these Kroot Demons, right, is what I want to do is I want to have some symmetry to the Force because I'm doing all four Chaos Gods. It's a huge undertaking. I'm uh, well over 2,000 points now, actually, all, like, kit-bashed and uh, actually over half-painted as well so far, but there's still lots and lots to make. But basically what I want for each God is to have at least one Greater Demon, and that is like the actual shaper. And that will be a big monster being ridden by a little guy. And that's the main shaper is the little guy and that's his mount. Then he's got like a second in command. And that is going to be like your demon prince style model. So either like a Silesque, like a named one like this. Or it'll just be like a, you know, a, a demon prince of chaos and, you know, uh, flavored to that god. But it will also be a big monster with a guy riding on it, just a smaller one. Then I would like at least one infantry character. So I have that for this. That is the uh, Infernal and Rapturous. Then I would want at least one unit of troops. And then from there, whatever other units uh, in the you know that army that I like or I find interesting to, to kitbash. So for this one, I did a unit of Seekers and a unit of Fiends. And I will probably end up doing... Uh, either one more unit of Seekers and or uh, a Chariot or two because I actually have a lot of extra Seekers because uh, a friend sent me uh, some extra ones that they didn't need. So, um, But basically, yeah, that's the idea of the army. So lots more to come, guys. At some point, when I get more finished, I'll do uh, I'll do a little army roundup kit bash showcase like I like to do for my... Uh, I've done for my other army uh, showcase videos. And uh, yeah, like I said, guys, if you want to support the channel, feel free to check out the Patreon. Lots of cool stuff on there. I actually post on there quite regularly. Um, and uh, there is actually also a Kroot Discord that literally uh, has not been active at all. Uh, or, sorry, there's a Kroot Discord that is very active and it's fantastic community. You should join it. I have my own shitty little Discord that's not active at all. 
Um, but I'll be working on, uh, on posting on there more as well. So feel free to uh, PM me if you'd like in on that. Anyways, guys, bye for now.